Hello and welcome. I'm Jason from As One Guidance, and today I'm going to talk about uh, waiting for your twin to catch up. You know, waiting for your twin to uh, get to the level that you're at, and what that is is thinking that you're separate from your twin. So I've mentioned this uh, numerous amounts of times that you are one. You know, you are one being, you're, the, you're one energy, so there's no way that you can be anywhere where your twin isn't. You know, you both lie inside of each other. You're never apart, energetically. So the thinking that you are, you know, a level or levels above your twin along this journey is is the illusion I mean that's the lie that you're telling yourself that's the illusion that you're believing that uh, that you've come so much further than them and they're still you know screwing around down here and you're like way up here uh, it doesn't work like that you're you're always at the same level you're always at the same place you're always at the same awareness so the, the thinking that uh, I'm just going to wait around until they get it, until something in, in them clicks, and then they you know, can meet me at the level that I'm at, at the vibration that I'm at, uh, is separation, is thinking in separation. And... That's exactly what you're trying to, uh, you know, shine the light on and, and get rid of, is that is that separation consciousness, and that's the that's the block that you're trying to heal, is believing that you're separate when you you're never separate. You know, like uh, there's plenty of times that I I have conversations with people and they are like. Oh, you know, I've come so far, and and I've I've healed uh, tremendously, and you know, my twin is is way down here somewhere, and and I'm just I guess I just have to wait for for them to catch up, right? I have to wait for them to you know get to where I am in order for us to be together, and it it never is like that. You know, if you're if you're sitting there waiting for them to catch up to you, uh, you're going to be waiting for quite a long time. Because that in in doing that, you're not doing your inner work to heal your separation. You're still believing that you're separate. You know, the, this is this is a major part of of your journey is to is to completely 100% heal this separation consciousness in order for you to be together. So if you're not together, continue to do your inner work. Continue to chip away at that block of, you know, believing that you're separate. And you'll know when you have completely healed that block because then you'll be with your twin. That's how it works. So, so, so when, when you think about certain things like this, it's important to, you know, notice where you are in relationship to yourself. You know, forget about uh, what they're doing and forget about what it is that you, that you think that uh, they may or may not be doing to um, heal themselves along this journey. You know, this is your awareness. This this po portion of the of the journey is your awareness. So, you're if you're aware of of what's going on, then it's your responsibility to take on that portion of the journey. You know their their responsibility for this journey is whatever it is that's that's being uh, given to them, whatever whatever is uh, being presented to them, they are handling that that portion of the journey. 
so that you don't have to. And you're handling this portion of the journey so that they don't have to. But you're doing it together. You're always working together. And that's what that's something that uh, that maybe people are, aren't understanding and th is that uh, you're not doing the exact same thing all the time, but you have your agenda and you have your path and that's mapped out for you and they have their path that's map mapped out for them. And both paths meet at the end. But it's your job to, to handle yours and it's their job to handle theirs. And maybe they don't have uh, the awareness of, uh, you know, I'm a twin flame or, or they're not looking at twin flame videos and they're not uh, in twin flame groups trying to figure uh, this whole puzzle out. But they're doing their spiritual work, whether it looks like they are or whether it looks like they aren't, they are. If you are doing your spiritual work, if you're choosing to do that work, then they're choosing to do that also. They might not exactly know what it's called, what's happening to them, and then they don't know what what's what it what it's labeled as you might know. However, they're doing it. These things this is this is uh you're doing everything as one being because you're one being. You know, so when it's important to really understand that if you have this idea in your head that that you're, uh, you know, not working together, that you're not co-creating this reality, like let me let me put it to you this way: if you if you think that you're the only one creating this reality. You know, nothing else is helping you. You're the then. Then that's pretty. That's a pretty, uh, uh, pretty big burden that you're putting on yourself. You know what I mean? Like you, if you, if you believe that you're the only one working on this, like, uh, so your twin and and God are just like sitting there with their arms crossed. You know, like when's he gonna? When? When are they gonna? When are they going to get this done? You know, when, what's taking so long? Like, you know, they're looking at their watch like, what? what is what is going on? Like, you know, I'm getting antsy over here. That you're putting, you're putting a lot of, of a, a, an enormous burden on your shoulders. Realize that this is, this entire journey is done with the both with both of you. That it's equally split up between both of you. You know, take comfort in that that you're creating this with your twin. And 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 all you're doing and all the both of you are doing is healing the is healing yourself to be in alignment with God's will. And God is taking care of the rest. I mean, you really don't have to do much except heal yourself. You'll me use the mirror exercise to heal heal yourself. Like literally, uh, you know, the divine is taking care of this entire thing. So have you know rest easy in knowing that it's not on your shoulders, that it's not uh, you know squarely on you to pull a rabbit out of your hat and create, you know, the most magnificent miracle that, that ever was. You know, uh, the divine creates the miracle. You just receive the miracle. You know, that's all that's happening. Um, you know, remember that you're always in the same place. So if you think that they're fucking off, and not doing anything, uh, you might want to heal that. <laughs> you might want to heal these things that that you think they're doing 
or not doing for that matter. No, these are these are coming up in your in your reality because that's that's being presented to you so that you can heal it. So heal it. You know, take steps on this journey to and and to take responsibility for your portion of it and only your portion of it. You know, don't exhaust yourself in uh, taking on what's not yours. You know, let that go. Let all the other, let these things go that aren't yours, that aren't your responsibility. Take responsibility for yourself and only yourself. Uh, so visit asoneguidance.com and, you know, take your, take these, take these steps. You know, take, take your life forward. Start, start your journey. Start, start really working on yourself. Uh, I'd love to help you do that. Um, you know, leave a comment down below and let me know if there's anything uh, that you'd like me to do a video on in the future. And that will be all. I will see you next time. Take care.